When we moved into our new offices about a year ago, I inherited the care of a plant that had been a resident of the building for a dozen years. The vine was a bit scraggly, so I repotted it and watered it now and then. Small shoots developed, but fell off before becoming anything several times. Over several months, the plant developed lots of thick green leaves and a healthy attitude. Soon, a strong spike developed. And this one offered the promise of a flower. When the buds reached this stage, it was easy to see why one of the names for this vine is the wax plant. Small clusters of blooms brightened the entire room in the following days. I thought inattentive watering was the cause of these droplets. However, I learned that nectar from the blood-red centers of these bouquets attributed to the plant's other name, the Tears of Christ. I wanted to share pictures of how happy the plant had become with the original owner, so I asked my colleague Joan if she was still in touch with her. A sad wisp of memory crossed her face as she told me that Nancy had died several years earlier. This leads me to ask you, what legacy will you leave behind that brings joy long after you're gone?